It's been three years since George Floyd was handcuffed, pinned to the ground, and killed during an arrest in Minneapolis. A video of the incident resulted in protests across the country, including one in Perry Square. Jade Leah Byrne stopped by UPMC Hammett, where staff members gathered to remember that day. She joins us now in the newsroom with more. Jade. Sean, Jen, dozens of nurses, doctors, and other hospital staff gathered at the facility's front lawn for the anniversary of the incident that claimed George Floyd's life. UPMC Hammett observed white coats against racism and injustice. Staff knelt for 9 minutes and 29 seconds to represent how long George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man, was pinned to the ground by Minneapolis police officers during an arrest. We're here to foster diversity and inclusion, not only in our hospital with our UPMC Hammett family here, but in our community. Beard says this has been very important to them for many years and wishes to be supportive however they can. When uh, this uh, unfortunate incident in, uh, first happened and we were able to get a, a large crowd together, obviously at that point in time that was right around the area of the pandemic and we all had to have social distancing and masking and we again try to do this every year because this is a, a sentinel event uh, for the nation. This was emotional for some staff members as some have encountered prejudice firsthand. I am a person who has experienced racism and I'm not shocked that it still exists. We're too far in the game now to still be having issues and problems so um, nine minutes is not even enough but it's a start. Hospital staffers that participated in the remembrance tell us that the end of racism is long overdue. I just can't believe it's still around. I, I could see it in like my grandparents age a little bit but it's been a long time and I can't believe anyone is still racist at all. Participants also explained that this was an experience like no other. It felt like we were down there for all day <laughs> so that's just unacceptable so let's just let's just all learn from this and you know do better as a community. Staff members say it's important to learn from this so an incident like this never happens again. Sean, Jen. All right, Jade Leah Burns, live in our newsroom. Thank you, Jade.